Hi, right, good morning from Socorro, New Mexico. I'm getting ready to leave with you my daily routine of um, making sure my spot tracker had to change the batteries this morning. Um, make sure I don't leave anything in the room. I always empty my trash, clean out the coffee machine. For the poor gals that have to clean up after me. You know, I also, um, normally I don't check out through the desk. A lot of my friends need to get a receipt for some reason. I just leave my key in the door. <clears throat> and um, that way, if I do forget something, I can come back and uh, get in and it lets them know I'm, I'm gone. Okay, so I'm gonna work my way um, to Roswell and maybe down to uh, Carlsbad Caverns. Um, I have to stop at an ATM and get some fuel. I'm leaving late because I'm trying to time my arrival in San Antonio, New Mexico in time to go to the uh, Buckhorn restaurant. Um, their world, not world renowned, but the chef there beat Bobby Flay in a chili burger, chili cheeseburger cook off. So I always try to make it a point to uh, grab a bite to eat there. So no breakfast. Had a cup of coffee and um, San Antonio, New Mexico is my next waypoint before I hit Highway 380 to Roswell. All right, let's get going. All right, I'm in uh, San Antonio, New Mexico. It was just uh, about 10 miles down the road, south of Socorro. This is uh, Highway 380. This is the reason why I left late and skipped breakfast. Let's come here to the Buckhorn Tavern. They were on the Food Network. I've been coming here for about 12 years, maybe 15. Anyway, I'm going to go in and have brunch. It's about 10.30 uh, New Mexico time. Okay, they're not open until uh, 11, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait. I think today's Friday, or is it Turd's Day? You know, I'm uh, here at the San Antonio, New Mexico post office. I got to mail off a letter. Okay, so I mailed off a letter to uh, the museum in Pioche, Nevada. They had a display. It was a Santa Claus post office, which was um, used for kids. They were placed in service stations for kids to mail letters to Santa Claus in Santa Claus, Indiana, where in 1914, the postmaster started answering kids' letters to Santa Claus. Anyway, um, I did research on it. They didn't know what it was for, who made it, and uh, it was in pristine condition. So anyway, I did the research. I wrote a letter outlining the history, and that's what I just mailed off. So I got about 15 more minutes before the restaurant opens. Okay, 11 o'clock sharp. And one dinner is included. Here's the Buckhorn Tavern. Already know what I'm going to order, but here's your uh, menu. Treating myself to a real, not a real coat, but a. Okay, here it goes. Mm. That's good. Okay, I'm done. This uh, burger has my highest rating. Five napkins. That's how much, how many napkins it takes me to eat a juicy burger like this. Okay, I'm done. Um, got there just in time. It's you can see people waiting outside already. It's kind of weird. This out of out in the middle of nowhere town. Oh. All right, greetings from Highway 380 in New Mexico. Uh, here's the historic marker. 
for the Trinity site, the location of the first atomic blast. If you can see that mountain 25 miles away, where my finger is, that's where the blast occurred at the base of that. Um, I've been there. The Trinity site is open two days out of the year, one Saturday in May and one Saturday in October. Um, you go up or down 525 South and that'll take you to the Mustang Gate and that is an active weapons testing site. So there's a lot of security. You're subjected to a search and then you have to follow a caravan at 25 miles an hour for 25 miles to get to the site. But it is something to see um, if you are a history buff. And that's, this is about uh, 15 minutes east of San Antonio, New Mexico. Intersection of 525 and Highway 380. Well, I had a nice uh, half-hour discussion with that gentleman. Anyway, I'm in uh, Carrizozo. I burned up three gallons of fuel from Socorro, so I just topped off. This is a busy intersection. Um, Highway Mexico 54, which goes down to Tularosa. Alamogordo, and then 382 Roswell. I'm gonna point out this motel. Rainbow Inn across the street. If you're ever here, stay here because they are veteran friendly. I don't know if you can see it on their sign, but uh, just tell them you're a vet. You guys are really nice. Okay, I'm going to finish my uh, double shot because that hamburger made me sleepy. And I'm going to head up to Billy the Kid Country to the Lincoln County Courthouse, and there is the Smoky Bear Museum. Greetings from Capitan, New Mexico. This is the Smoky Bear Museum and his grave. Um, I've been here like five times before, so I'm not gonna do anything in there. Um, I am gonna stop at the gift shop to get Sergeant SOB companion since I lost the uh, other one. Somebody anonymous, anonymously placed on my motorcycle. Can't remember if the gift shop is in a separate location, so I'm gonna go find out. All right, mission accomplished. Got uh, Sergeant SOB, buddy. Okay, here I am in Old Lincoln. This is a Lincoln County courthouse. Uh, that's where Billy the Kid escaped. He shot two deputies. There's a marker in the back um, where he killed one deputy. And this whole town is a monument. So you go into courthouse, you can get a map. Again, I've been here uh, many times. This whole area, Fort Stanton, uh, before in between Capitan and here, um, that's where the Buffalo soldiers were. Um, they housed German and Japanese POWs during World War II there. Anyway, this whole town is a walking monument, so you can start a walking tour here and um, go to the Tunstall General Store and relive old history. Um, so there's, there's just so many things in this within a 50 mile radius to see and do. It's just impossible to cover. Anyway, I recommend this. If you're in Texas, Central Texas, it's a long one day drive or two short days to get here and you could literally spend a good week here. Um, if you do come, I recommend you stay in Carrizozo where it's a lot cheaper or you can go to Rio Doso. Um, it's kind of a cool town, but it is a tourist town. So things are more expensive. Anyway, Old Lincoln. Must see if you are into Western history. I am in Hondo, New Mexico. I actually stopped here about 15 years ago to change clothes because it was raining. And it's raining now. I got so soaked that year, uh, even my underwear got wet because it wicked down. I found an abandoned gas station and changed clothes. 
So I'm about an hour out of Roswell. Time for Red Bull. About 50 for here. Well, hello. I thought I'd share this with you. Um, I don't know if you could see it back there, but that is a former Atlas missile silo. And it is right, um, if you're eastbound 380 into Roswell, it's right at the Chavez County line. And there's actually a cutout in the divider. Um, after World War II, my dad's bomb group, the 351st bomb group, was sent to Roswell, New Mexico, where my dad ended up, and his bomb group was deactivated. Roswell was the home of the uh, 509th bomb group, which was the first nuclear bomb group in the newly formed U.S. Air Force. Anyway, my dad's unit was reactivated as the 351st Missile Wing, and they had placed, um, I think it were nine of these Atlas missile silos around Roswell. Back in 2005, this was for sale for $250,000, seven acre complex with water and power to it, which was a plus. Um, I even hopped the fence at that time. I rode out as I was riding through, I went down inside. I don't know if you can see the white structure is a stairwell and that is a seven story silo. The command room was huge, it would have made a great home, but um, I didn't want to spend, I figured it would have cost me another 150000 to clean it up and renovate it. It was purchased by a media storage company, but I think they gave it up. I mean, I don't know what status right now. There is one north of or east of Roswell that a guy had renovated. I think he had a, a web address of uh, Silo Man. Anyway, you can buy these complexes. They're for sale. Just Google Missile Silos for Sale. Okay, anyway, I thought I'd share that little bit of trivia with you. On my way to Roswell, I got to pee. The rain has let up just to a uh, little bit of a drizzle. Okay, greetings from Roswell, New Mexico. I decided to call it an evening. Found this uh, hotel for 45 bucks a night. I wouldn't recommend it to my friends. But it's convenient. Um, anyway, I got rained on the last hour. And, um, it looks like I'm going to get rained on the last hour. No matter what I do, so. I just decided to call it quits. It's about... Four o'clock in the afternoon and an extra time. Okay. I'm gonna go relax. Alright, I'll give you a little tour of the room. The uh, cinder block construction is something that's uh, typical uh, circa New Mexico 1950s. Kind of what the barracks at Holland Air Force Base were made out of. A lot of these structures here, uh, older hotels, were made in the 50s. All right, that's it for 45 bucks.